2020 has been a challenging year for many people due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But the pandemic has also helped others to find their calling. Earlier in the year, we witnessed Aziad turn into an internet sensation after her TikTok video for the Utawezana challenge went viral. But while Aziad was getting her shine locally, Elsa Majimbo managed to attract an international audience with her light-hearted comedy videos on Instagram that make fun of everyday situations people find themselves in and more specifically situations that people have been in during this pandemic period. Elsa Majimbo, a 19-year-old journalism student at Strathmore University, became a viral sensation after this video posted on March 30th on her Instagram page making fun of the pandemic situation went viral. Ever since Corona started, we've all been in isolation and I like miss no one. <laughs> Why am I missing you? <laughs> there is no reason for me to miss you. Hakuna. And people keep on telling me you haven't participated in Corona challenges. You haven't joined house party. You haven't joined TikTok. It's not by mistake. <laughs> it's not. It's not. And this and you keep on telling me I miss you. Why? 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 <laughs> Do I pay your school fees? <laughs> Do I pay your rent? <laughs> Do I provide food for you? Why are you missing me? Na kuna watu wameshinda wameandika until tomorrow. The freedom we took for granted. The small little things we never appreciated. Are you Shakespeare? <laughs> Ama you want to be a motivational speaker? <laughs> That's what you've decided to become. And no, the video did not go viral in Kenya, it went viral in South Africa. In April, she did an interview with the Sowetan Live, a South African publication, where she said, On 15th of April, I was just chilling at home and someone sent me a screenshot of people in South Africa going crazy over my videos. Elsa's videos were both in English and Swahili, but her new fan base were complaining in the comments saying they don't understand the language and that she should add translations. So in April, she started adding translations in her videos. In April, she did a live Instagram interview with Glamour South Africa and her social media followers were blowing up with most of her new followers being from South Africa. Going from 1,000 followers to 50,000 followers in one week on Twitter and from 7,000 followers to 200,000 followers on Instagram in the same period. In May, she secured an endorsement deal with cosmetics company MAC Cosmetics Africa and in June had her videos featured on Comedy Central Africa for the whole month. Also in June, she got an endorsement deal with MTN South Africa for callers to be able to set their call status with Elsa's comedy tunes and also partnered with South Africa's digital distribution company Content Connect Africa to entertain callers with her hilarious skits. In July, she was featured in the US publication The Guardian and in National Geographic and was in an advertisement for South African fast food company Chicken Licken. In August, she was featured in CNN Africa and in the New York Times. To top it all off, in September, she received an eyewear endorsement from Rihanna's luxury clothing brand Fenty Beauty for their sunglasses and was interviewed by Anderson Cooper on CNN for his regular show Full Circle. Her fame has earned her recognition from our very own Black Panther superstar Lupita Nyong'o, South African rapper Caspanyo Vest, American singer Cesar, and a relationship with former Miss South Africa and current Miss Universe Zozi Binitunzi, who is always commenting on her posts. Elsa's rise to fame is one to be commended because it did not originate from her own people. Her initial stardom originated from South Africa, which she has acknowledged so many times. In the interview with The Guardian, she said, South Africa has really shown me a lot of love. Always go where people accept you. Always go where people love you. And I found South Africa. 
she continues to acknowledge South Africa as she has put up the South African flag on her Twitter page and in May she was given a South African name Mfo by her fans. Mfo means gift in Swana language spoken in Southern Africa, Botswana, Namibia and Zimbabwe. But as she was gaining popularity beyond Kenya's borders, she was being heavily criticized by Kenyans for allegedly copying Rono. Deborah Chebet, popularly known as Rono, is a local-based comedian who started making videos like the ones Elsa is making as far back as December 2017. As you can see in this screen recording of her Instagram page. The criticisms from Kenyans were too harsh as they believed Elsa was a gimmick. Rono was already a beloved figure in the Kenyan comedy space and nobody was allowed to come and take her place. At first, I was furious with Kenyans for their lack of support for Elsa, but as I researched for this video, I came to understand where their anger is coming from. In an Instagram live with Shafiweru, this is what she had to say. I, I started before Rono, but I blew up after her. And people gathered so confused and they act like the fact that I'm in this space means that there's no space for her or the fact that she's in this space, there's no space for me. And people keep on saying, oh, um, she may, Rono may be more deserving of the things Elsa is getting. And I'm like, you know, the thing is, first of all, I stand Rono. She has done so many great things and she's amazing. She's talked to me. She's given me great advice because... She's, she was bigger before I was, so she's given me such great advice on how Correct. to like, just like move up. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, they were like, Rono is more de deserving of this space. And you know the thing I was saying is that you can never, you can never block God's blessings. Me never. and my 7,000 followers, we reached 200,000. In two weeks, and no one can ever put me down. <laughs> no one can ever put me down. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Who do you think you are? She said she started before Rono, but blew up after Rono. But this is false, as you can see from this screen recording of her Instagram page. She started posting videos in November 2019, basically two years after Rono, as her feed before that does not have any videos. Also on Twitter, her first tweet was in December 2019, and on YouTube, her first video was also in December 2019. However, in the interview with The Guardian, she said she started making videos for friends in 2016 but had stopped until 2019. This explains why her social media does not have videos until November 2019. So, Kenyans were not attacking her for no reason since if she was making videos for friends since 2016 and was not posting them online, how would Kenyans know that she was doing it before Rono. People believe that Kenyans were only attacking her because she blew up. But on one of her earlier Instagram posts in 2019, Ajay Gadui commented under one of her videos saying, I think you are a lot, derivative, and you are on to something, but you should try and find your own thing. We love Rono and she doesn't need a gimmick, period. From this, I can say Rono has been posting videos the whole of 2018 and 2019 and Elsa, who also follows Rono on Instagram, has been watching and maybe it is wrong to say that she copied Rono but it is a fact that Rono inspired her. She has clearly been watching and taking notes. In a video posted on her Instagram in January, she stated that she is going to just focus on making videos and make money. So me, I think I'll just make videos, get my money, secure the bag, and leave. It is clear she has been seeing what making videos has done for Rono over the two years. But despite all this, Kenyans should still support her, because it is not about who started first, but who is doing it better. Like, there is a reason Drake is the greatest rapper alive despite the likes of Eminem, who started first, being alive. For Elsa, this rejection has been a blessing in disguise, as God has used it to open unimaginable doors for a Kenyan comedian. 
This is the first time a Kenyan comedian has been featured in the New York Times, The Guardian, and has been interviewed by a veteran like Anderson Cooper. And it's also the first time a Kenyan comedian has worked with an international brand like Fenty Beauty. I believe all this was because of the support from South Africans and many other Africans from different countries. But mostly South Africans who make up most of her fans. I mean, South Africa boasts of Trevor Noah, who is the host of The Daily Show on Comedy Central. Trevor Noah started as a comedian in South Africa, and with the support of South Africans, he was able to reach heights that were unimaginable for an African comedian. Getting to host The Daily Show is no joke, and in 2017, he became the first African to ever win an Emmy Award. In Kenya, we are yet to support one of our own to reach international standards. Here, we have the comedy cast where we support our comedians, but the far they reach is becoming a radio host after they have reached their prime and then they disappear from the limelight. Well, for Rono, I hope this won't be the case as she is no longer at Energy Radio where she has been working as a host for the past one year. She is still young, she just turned 20 and I believe her future is still bright, even though this year she has slowed down on posting comedic videos. I also believe Elsa will change the state of Kenyan comedy, which has for the longest time been fueled by tribalism. In the interview with Anderson Cooper, she had this to say. Time, so. It, oh so is there a comedy wild. scene in, in Nairobi? Um, there is, but um, my kind of comedy, you know, it's universal because most of my comedy is picked out from American and European culture. So yeah. most Kenyans, yeah, the, the comedy in Kenya is mostly, you know, in Swahili and it's about tribes and it's about what's happening in the country and that's not mm. my comedy. My comedy is universal it's about what's happening in the world not just in kenya so kenyans enjoy a different type of comedy so there is a comedy scene here but it's not for me so you don't have jokes of like two kikuyus walk into a a bar and no <laughs> no yeah okay um no. yeah i can see that no but but i mean that's what i think is so amazing uh, what's so great about something like instagram is that you know, you can put stuff out, and as you said, it's universal, and all around the world, people can laugh. You know, there's always been that question of, like, is somebody who's funny in one country funny in another country? And, and in, certainly in this case, I think you are funny anywhere. Yeah, and, and anywhere except Kenya. <laughs> Kenya is very, the comedy here, it's... It's very, very different, so it's actually kind of ironic because, you know, my whole fan base has been built outside the country I'm actually in, which is, it's odd, but, you know, it is what it is. Mm. And I know Dave Chappelle... Her comedy is clearly universal as she has amassed fans from different countries. Recently, her videos were shared on American platforms BET and E! News Instagram pages. I don't think we will be seeing Elsa on Churchill's show. Her story is just like how Lupita Nyong'o blew up in America before Kenyans embraced her. It seems everything has come full circle as Kenyans also came to appreciate Elsa after Lupita Nyong'o posted one of her videos on Twitter. All in all, Elsa Majimbo is a gem and Kenyans need to support and appreciate her despite of how she came into the limelight. We need to support her and change the narrative that she only became what she has become because of South Africans, cause where she has reached now, she can only get bigger. And it won't be fair for Kenyans if she ends up making history like winning an Emmy Award and South Africans claim her. I mean, she has just been nominated in an American award ceremony, the E People's Choice Awards, under the category African Social Star. Make sure to vote for her. She already said it, she is going 
to be an icon. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos.